Well, hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the Word. Hey, today we are starting a section in Colossians, which I'm entitling Paul's Prayer. Um, and it, it's not something I made up. It's just, it's really what happened here. Paul is, he's writing this book. Remember, he's writing it while he's in prison, and he's writing it to the the church that is in Coloss, Colossae. Okay, this book has a lot of similarities to some of the other, uh, you call them prison epistles, that they were written while Paul was in, in prison. Philippians, we just did, um, before we did uh, Leviticus, because uh, we, we, I try and flip back uh, from a New Testament book to the Old Testament and back and forth. And if you remember, if you remember all the way back when we talked about uh, Philippians, there was a time there where Paul was writing and then he would just break out into prayer. And, and uh, it happens this way in this book also. Right toward the beginning, he says, hey, this is my prayer for you. Okay, and so we're going to look at that prayer, and it, it applies to us today. We should be praying the same thing over other people, other churches, um, and we should be asking God for these same things in our church. Okay, so let's look here today. Uh, this is uh, Paul's Prayer Part 1, and this is the first part is called Filled with Knowledge, and this is taken from Colossians. Uh, chapter 1, verses 9 through 14. Okay? So, let's read here today. And it says this, Colossians 1, 9 through 14. For this reason, since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you. Okay, so, uh, I, I had said before, uh, Paul was, was uh, through Colossae here. We don't know. It, it's never recorded that he went to Colossae. He could have gone to Colossae. Uh, but it, it's never recorded. Like it, it, when you read through Acts, it doesn't say, oh, and I, we stopped in Colossae. never does say that. Uh, but he has a relationship with the church there. And he says, you know, when I first heard about you, um, we've, we've not stopped praying for you. So that, that's the first thing to start off with is when you hear about something, whether it's good or bad, uh, start praying for them. Okay. And so that's the way Paul starts out. And then he continues on here we continually ask god to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all wisdom and understanding so that that the spirit gives uh that the yeah the spirit gives um and then and we're talking about that today but i'll continue on with the prayer so that you may live a life worthy of the lord and please him in every good way bearing fruit in every good work growing in the knowledge of god being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience, and giving joyful thanks to the Father, who has qualified you to share in his inheritance of his holy people in the kingdom of light. For he has rescued us from the dominion of the darkness and brought us into the heavenly, uh, into the kingdom of his Son he loves, in whom we have redemption through the forgiveness of sins. That prayer, what I just said, seems short but man it is loaded with a lot of information okay when i'm praying for someone someone or something a church or whatever i'm praying you know some generalities and stuff but when paul's praying here he's talking about a lot of specific specifics packed into a little area into this little uh, paragraph here so let's talk about uh he's he says there at the in verse 9 we haven't stopped praying for you, but then he says, we continually ask God to fill you with knowledge. Okay, so the people of Colossae, they were big into to knowledge, okay? You had the, the, the cult, really, that was um, called Gnosticism that was going on, and that was all about knowledge, okay? But Paul doesn't say, hey, I pray that you have knowledge, okay? Just general knowledge, you know about uh, fish and, and uh, biology and astronomy and all this stuff. Not at all. Okay, so Paul isn't saying, like, you, you read it and you think, oh, that I'd have all knowledge. No, but it's, it, it's he brings it down to a very specific knowledge, okay? That you fill you with the knowledge of his will through all wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives, okay? So he's praying that you have knowledge 
of his will, okay? So the things that are in his will is everything right here in the Bible, okay? So if I want to know God's will for my life, I need to read the Bible. I need to be in the Word, okay? So in order for me to know God's will, I need to, to be familiar with the Bible, okay? Because I could be like, hey, yeah, I want to sleep with my girlfriend. I, I think that's what God's calling me to do is uh, sleep with my girlfriend. And um, you're like... What kind of craziness is that? And you go, well, I think that's what God's calling me to do. Well, no, the Bible clearly says not to do that, okay? And so that is God's will. That is the knowledge of his will spelled out in the Bible that we don't do that stuff, okay? And so, it's, again, it's not just knowledge, but a specific knowledge of his will. And to know his will, you have to be in the Bible, okay, and reading the Bible. Oh, um, Sorry. Knowledge of his will through all wisdom and the understanding that the Spirit gives. So not only is the under, you're getting the, the knowledge of his will, but it comes from the Holy Spirit too. So I pray, when I pray in the morning or, or evening or whenever, I'm praying that the Holy Spirit leads me and gives me knowledge in how, how to handle certain situations, how to deal with things during the day. Um, and that he guides me. Okay. When I'm, let's say I'm writing a sermon. Okay. And I'm writing that sermon out. I pray that God gives me knowledge into the things I say, uh, during that, um, you know, naturally I'm using the Bible, but I'm praying, Lord, guide me into what passages need to be part of this, this whole sermon. So that's what I, I'm praying for. Okay. So again, this is Paul's prayer and it's, to be filled with knowledge but again not just knowledge like oh I, I know everything and have knowledge of everything but a very specific knowledge of his will okay his will and it comes from uh the word in the holy spirit okay so hopefully that makes it uh, somewhat simple that's my goal here in the regular dude i'm trying to take stuff that might when you read it it's you're like wow i what what's paul saying here I'm trying to take it and, and give it to you in bite-sized pieces so that it's easy for us to understand. Uh, today is just a regular regular dudes and dudettes, okay? Hey, thank you for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and um, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our journey through Colossians. And we're going to spend quite a few days here just looking at this prayer of Paul uh, to the Colossians. Lord's blessing. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.